I'm very excited to show you the Creative Palette. It's a mono printing plate. It's going to give you a unique impression every time. The format is about 8.5 by 11, just smaller. It's very durable, very lightweight, and it has infinite possibilities. You may recognize the stuff cleaner that it comes in here. And we have lots of information and all on the back just to help you get started. But of course, a video is the best way. And to begin with, you will take one of the acetate liners and just completely peel away the front surface. And I like to leave the larger one on the back, I think, so that I can identify which side is which once I get rolling. But what I'm uh, really wanting to show you today are card making ideas. And uh, this one with the pears and this one with the grapes um, are just some very fun ideas. And so we're featuring the jumbo uh, pears and grapes. And I particularly want to show you how the free templates that come in these packages really give you a lot of opportunity to make it all come together. I'm now going to attempt to repeat a project uh, that happened very serendipitously the first time. But I'm going to give you lots of pointers. Yours is going to come out different from mine anyway. And we're going to have some fun with it. Uh, to begin with, we have some templates that I created that make a very nice little file folder making the best use of a full 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. I'm working with a, a cardstock weight so that it has a nice fold and everything to it. And by having the pattern already on the paper, it's going to really help with the construction of it later. But the trick is, if I want to repeat the file going this direction, I had to think through and mark the corner. And I have my creative palette in place horizontal this time. And I'm going to, I marked this corner to be the one that I want to set up over here. And that way it will turn the right way for my card. So, that also means that the front of my card is actually going to develop on this side of the palette. We've got our slow dry blending medium and I'm going to get a whole layer of this on the palette to start with and use my brayer just to kind of move it around. I'm working on a craft sheet here just to uh, contain all of the paints and whatnot I'm going to get into. And let's see, a, a layer of that may kind of just help all my colors blend a little bit more. So now I'm going to start with this margarita green. Okay, so now I have several that I could work from that have something front and back and they've had time to dry just a bit. So now I'm ready for my stamps and I'm going to use the palette truly as a palette this time. I'm going to get some of my dark colors over here so that I can and I might even add a bit of the slow dry. I'll show you the templates. I wrote on all of the pieces so that they're all going the right direction for the pair set. And now I can take this one and use this to cover up. And again, the paints will dry pretty quick. So we'll set that down on top. And now we'll use the brayer. So the template is in place. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, next I want my leaves.
So anyway, there you have a beautiful card, front and back, with your message of any kind inside, and a coordinating envelope as well. To see some more tips about cleaning things up, look for our other Creative Palette cleanup video. The techniques that you saw in making this pair of card, you can see, can be very similar to what you might do with the Jumbo Grape stamps, which also have the templates. And in this case, you can see maybe all of these different printed papers that you had in lights and darks. You can then work into separate pieces to develop your cards. On uh, this one, I imprinted onto a beautiful um, olive color paper. A torn edge really shows nicely and your dark areas become just the thing for contrast to maybe create an embossed message that will stand out and now you have lots of pieces to work with to create a unique card.